Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome to Empowered Woman. My guest for today is Ms. Nadia Muhammad Saleh Abbasoud. How are you? Alhamdulillah, fine. Great. She's a medical technologist and the head of the tissue typing and flow cytometry department in King Fahad's military hospital. She's also the owner and founder of A to Z Celebration, an events management company. Tell me about high school. Do you still remember high school? How yeah, was it? Yeah, of course, sure. Well, it was, it was a lot of fun. I, I wish you know you can you can go back just one day. Uh, I was very famous in school, and uh, I did not misbehave, but I was famous in the way of being funny and being uh, working hard and having a lot of group of you know the very famous, the most famous group in high school. So it's days that I could never because I have a cool bunch. yeah, and I have a twin sister. So this was by itself an issue, a big issue in school. So it's something that I will never, never, never forget in my life. Where did you go to school? In Thanawi Al Ashra in Jeddah here. In Jeddah. So um, how did you come to choose your major as a? Let's talk about medical technology first for the time being before we get to the real story. Your 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 foundation. Uh, how did you come to choose medical uh, engineering or uh, medical uh, laboratory? Uh, medical laboratory. Okay, I'm, I'm a profession in uh, my in science college in biochemistry because in in my days there wasn't a medical technology uh, section here in Jeddah. It was only in Riyadh. And what happened is after I graduated from high school, I wanted to become a doctor. So we applied for the King uh, Saud uh, University in Riyadh, and I was going. I was accepted in the uh, for uh, dentist to be a dentist, and then I could not really take it to live away from my family, me and my twin sister. So we decided to come back to Jeddah, and then my mother said, "Then you have you did not introduce your people to, to, to your paper to the university in uh, King Abdul Aziz." So we told her, okay, just go and do it yourself. So she went there, and I wasn't really planning to go to a biochemistry. So she applied our paper. We were accepted to the science college in biochemistry. And there was this, uh, the first year that everybody gathered together, the science college and the medical college. So uh, we went and studied for the first year. And to my surprise, I really liked the biochemistry. And then I finished the degree. And uh, after we finished, all biochemistry students who went from this section, from King Abdul's University, they used to go to work as medical technologists in uh, hospitals. So when you were interested in the medical field in general, oh yeah, did you did you uh, did you get any career counseling? Did anybody tell you that you should do this? It fits your character. It's no, your potential. No, would never. Well, I wish that they can do this in schools now because this is what really students really need. Uh, but in my days, no, there wasn't any counseling like this. But uh, from what we you know in the Arab world or maybe all around the world that one of the best career that you can have is being a doctor or being in the medical field so this has had a very big influence in my life so I decided and it worked it worked for you time do you believe career counseling should be integrated in the educational system? I wish I wish and uh, Why is that so? you know they can they can they can give advice to the student okay mm -hmm. what he is good in what skills that he is the best in from the schools that he lives in he, you know, he, they spend a lot of time in schools and, you know, the, 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 the teachers, they know a lot about the skills that the students have and then they can give him very good counseling about whatever career that he might be successful in future. Definitely, that's true. Do you remember your first day at work? How was that? Day at work? The first day at work, not any other day. Mark my words, the first day at work. Well, it was strange. It was so exciting, but... Uh, you know, when you feel strange, you want to do a lot of things, but you don't know nothing because you're still new and 
you know, you're coming from totally different period, you know, we're being a student, having everything ready, you know, you just have to study and that's it. And in the work, then it comes the real competition, you know, you have to show how you're a hard worker and how you have to put your own prints into the job that you took, or otherwise then there's no difference between you or any other employers. And you felt that you're responsible now to give the right result. Sure. Or otherwise, oh, yes. sure. somebody will be harmed. Sure. Right? It, was, it was a big task yeah, yeah, at sure. the beginning. So, um, before I get to the events management part, uh, you did a lot of courses in something interesting, NLP or Neuro Linguistic Programming. Uh, what is that and why were you so interested in it? Uh, I heard a lot of, about Neuro Linguistic Programming before I studied it and then the courses was not avail uh, available in the Middle East and it was only available outside uh, the Kingdom and uh, even in Egypt, in, uh, nobody in the, in the Middle East know it really. Mm -hmm. And then after, I, I, I started reading books about it. And then after one year, uh, I heard about that the courses are being done here in Saudi Arabia. And Neuro Linguistic Program, really it's something that changed my life. And it's a tool that a lot of people, it, it just takes the, the most important character in a lot of successful people and how they dealt with their, their life and the difficulties and how if they have an aim how to proceed in this and how not letting anything you know bring them down on their dreams and not to have the negativity really control your life so i studied this and then when so let me simplify that it was more about uh, concentrating your positive uh, optimistic energy and yeah, investing in it exactly and yeah. it's like our prophet says that uh, you know, you know, think about the positive and then you will get it. Mm -hmm. So no matter that we're Muslim since we are, we've been born, but we did not really practice this. And after I studied Neuro Linguistic Programming, I, you know, I tried to relate it to, the, to our religious and it's, it's really, this is what our religious wanted Bad every person to do. And uh, it's, it's the way that you see your life, this is the way that your life will become. It's not true that you know, people in misery, they would say, oh, this is what God wants to be for me. It's not true. This is not, I don't believe in this. So it's, it depends exactly on the way you see your life and the way you see it going. And then you will put the frame. So it's like an empty frame and then you're just making the drawing. Either you make it very dull and very Pessimistic, boring, or exactly, you very or you make it very bright, successful and everything. And it really helped me a lot. It was very good yeah. for you. So tell me, why did you choose medical biochemistry? Well, uh, I like things that, uh, my personality, I like really uh, to deal with people, you know, like serving people. And then you, t you take it as a credit from God, you know, like you're doing things for people, helping them. And plus, of course, I'm paid for my salary as this. But at the same time, I'm taking very good credit, you know, for the other day. Doing you know your, what I mean? Your yeah. work as a medical yeah. technologist. And we've come to the events management part. What were you thinking? A degree, a diploma from Florida in events management? I didn't know you can get a degree in that, by the way. I, I started my work before getting this degree. And then after uh, three years, I searched and searched. And then there was this diploma from the event of uh, the Institute of Event Management in Florida. And then I took this diploma and it, it really made a difference. But the thing is that the event management, I had it in my blood, you know. Since I was a, a kid, since I was in high school, when there's a party in the family or anything, I'm the one to be involved in the party, how to arrange it, how to do the, you know, the, the food, the decoration and everything. I, I, I used to be very famous in this around the family. It was your thing, it was yeah. your talent. And another thing, uh, I didn't have a very, I wanted to do a business and I didn't have a very high budget mm -hmm. to start to launch a business. Uh, exactly, right? to launch a business with a very high budget. So I needed to use my own tools and my own skills to do my own business that will not cost me a lot. And I really started from not scratch, scratch under the scratch. Oh my God, Honestly, even, yeah. even less. So, you know, I, I started as a, a freelancer, you know, just uh, brochures and cards are distributed to friends and families and then they start to call then I start to go from you know one place to another start to convince people about what I can do for their events or whatever and then alhamdulillah just gradually we became what we are now mm -hmm. so uh, let's say uh, you started from under scratch into something that you like a lot and you got to where you are right now where you chose A to Z celebration to be the name why did you choose uh, 
A to Z celebration, not some fancy name like Royal or Gold or... It's quite simple and sweet, by the way. But. The thing is, if you look at the name, uh, A to Z means everything. And it's true. And this is what makes uh, my office is very distinguished in this service, that I don't give you only the decoration, no. I, you know, all the bride had to do is just come, the bride and the family of the bride, the groom and the family of the groom, and then they, we will deal with everything. The singer, the entertainment, the cards, the cake, the uh, lighting the system, location. decoration, honeymoon, everything. Fireworks. Yes, everything. Everything related to the event, Lights. we do it. Anything, anything you can imagine. So that's why when we mean, when I said A to Z celebration, it means A to Z celebration. Isn't this too much effort and too much work? Yes, it is. It's after work. <laughs> you're going to have to tell me about the details, about how exhausting it is because we want to know everything, but we're going to take a short break. Stay with us. Welcome back to Empowered Woman. So uh, you were telling me about how difficult the event management is since you do everything as, as the name says, from A to Z. So how difficult is that? What do you have to go through? Well, the, the, the woman, she's, you know, all women known to love details. Yeah, they're bright zillas. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, not really. You know, I love them all. And, you know, the thing about my business that I love, that all my brides, they become very close friends of mine, even after, after a while. And then if they have kids, then they come back for, for the kid's birthday. So I'm just working generation by generation, which is really nice, you know. And uh, uh, there's a lot of details. That's why I believe that the woman will be very successful event management, especially uh, if... I care a lot about details, you know. Sometimes people get shocked, you know, because I register anything when she comes to me, whatever she wants, the colors and everything, and even when you show her the samples, we show her everything as if it's real in her wedding, and then she have to prove it or not, she wants to change something or not. So we give her the privilege of, you know, collecting all what's the best on the market and give her the choice to, you know, just choose whatever suits her. Mm -hmm. It is difficult, but it, it teaches you to be very patient, very patient. That's true. So tell us a little about the most important events you've organized. I heard some of them were for the top notch of the country. Alhamdulillah. We, our company is very uh, known for a very good reputation for the service and the execution part and the very flexibility. And uh, we worked with a lot of companies, big companies like uh, uh, Unilever, like for Safolas, for uh, the malls, decoration of the malls and the festivals of the malls during the uh, Hajj period or the Ramadan period or even the for the summer and annual days for a lot of big companies. Plus, of course, the individual parties for big families, big weddings, you know, like uh, 700 people, 1,000 people. You told me about a family that you... Uh that you've really dealt with many times. How many weddings did you hold for it's, them? It's not only one family, you know, like I, um, I can, I can read The highest about number of They have seven, engagement. yeah, they have seven daughters and uh, four of them were all the engagement party and the wedding party, we did it here. And whenever there's anything, there's the soon engagement for the other daughters. The mother would call me and then she would say, okay, just uh, prepare yourself or maybe you're going to visit soon. So this means that I'm just building a client. I, it's, I'm not a person.